Okay, if there's any rust in this area here, you want to uh, treat it with rust neutralizer and uh, and spray spray um, black rust paint on the rust. So what I'll do is I'll get this. Uh, I'll start installing it around about here because that's underneath the uh, the aluminium. Uh, kick protector. I'll start working it around and if I've got enough I'll join it up together and uh, just make sure that it's uh, joined so that the pressure is outwards and it's spread up around the frame. This is a 1977 Chevy C20 truck. Um, before you start uh, installing the rubber just make sure that these will go on and that you've got all your uh, your fixing points located, the right screws and everything. So install these, take them off, and uh, then I'll start installing the rubber. Okay, so there it is. I know that I can install the uh, the aluminium uh, kickboard here. So I'll now remove that and uh, install the rubber. I'm using a tablet at the moment so it's kind of hard to uh, position the camera while I'm working but uh, that's the way it's going. This, uh, this lip here goes over the, um, the ridge here, um, it sticks out. I've got a lot of faith in this, this is an OEM uh, door weather strip for this, uh, for this truck. And it's, it's very flexible, it seems like very good quality. Um, there's holes in this so that when the door closes, it'll, uh, the air will come out. I've got high hopes for, uh, for this, so I'm just making sure it's completely in position. And it's just a matter of uh, getting the, uh, the weather strip and just, uh, just installing it, just pushing um, this this area here, that there, that, that just, uh, this metal ridge here, that sits inside there. And uh, yeah, it's going very well. So I'll just, uh, I'll keep pushing that on around. And uh, when I get to here, I'll try and join it if I've got enough. Um, I found it very hard to, uh, to do this area from here to here. Uh, it didn't take that long, but it's just that it's very tight around the uh, side of the dashboard here. So, uh, so I'm just making sure, I'm press putting a lot of pressure here just to make sure it's right up against the, uh, the body of the truck. And I find that the best way to install it is for this to be curved and just push it up at the apex, if you like, like so. And I'm finding this is very good, um, good quality, good fitting uh, product. So I'll go right around it, making sure it's good and installed. And uh, sometimes you've just got to pos position it because you can see here that there's a like a double thickness or a join there. And you have to make your way around uh, those areas. Okay, it's now installed. Um, with the corners, I found that after I installed them, um, if I actually took it back off and reinstalled it, pushing up and making sure it's completely contacted, that uh, you know that was a good. Uh, I got a better. Uh, a better install. After installing I just uh, just tapped it, not hard, but just sort of like so, just to make sure that I could hear that it was uh, bottomed out on that metal frame. And as you can see, it's a fairly good, uh, good looking product. It'll definitely bring worth to the uh, to the truck. Um, it is long enough. 
So I'll go ahead and uh, just cut this at the right length. I got the wires uh, out of the way while I was installing so that the end of it could sit right over the, uh, the lip, if you like, the metal edge of the, uh, the frame. I'm always happy when I find a product I can recommend. I can recommend this. I got it from a USA uh, internet website. It wasn't eBay, it was a separate, uh, a separate one. So uh, I can't remember what uh, the website was now. Um, come to think of it, uh, I did get it from eBay. Um, I know that because I can't purchase on overseas uh, websites, so I'll try and find this product because it's uh, it's actually very good, um, and it makes the uh, the door area looks look much better. Yeah, there it is. Um, one A Automotive. Um, I don't, uh, $47 plus postage. I think, I think it costs just over a hundred dollars to get it here, but, uh, that's fairly good values. Probably no doubt worth more because, uh, November 17, oh, the economy was doing pretty well then too. So yeah, it should be fairly similar, similarly priced. Gonna be on the camera. Hmm. Um, believe it or not, that's actually aluminium in there. It's a little thin piece of aluminium. So you can probably see. Oh, where are we? There. So uh, it's definitely very good quality. Okay. Unfortunately, there's a bit of a gap there. Um, I suggest. Oh, actually, hang on a minute. That's that's with the factory side. So the factory's cut it on an angle there. Now this side's actually good. Um, okay, uh, I suggest uh, using a T-square or a uh, forty-five degree angle to mark your uh, your cuts, and then cut them like that. Okay, I've organised. On the uh, driver's side, on the um, left side, on this car, because it was made in the USA. Um, oh, by the way, it's th uh, more than 30 years old, so I can drive it uh, left-hand drive here. Um, okay, so I've sorted out my wiring. That's sitting in. It can't sit down inside there because there's no room. But anyway, it's it's up out of the way of the uh, the fixing point, so I won't screw I won't screw through the wire when I install the aluminium uh, side protectors. Um, just before I forget, if you want to adjust this line so that the door door lines up perfectly with the body, you know, say this is too low or too high here. Um, what you can do is you can pack it out with uh, washers. Behind there you can see I've got a washer um, on the bottom hinge and the top hinge is without washers. So that's to get the, um, the door to, uh, to come up on this side and line up. Okay, you will have to um, adjust your uh, this latch here, the fixing point um, for the latch to uh, latch around. So how you do that is you just get one of these star um, Allen key type uh, tools here and just undo this nut here and uh, it'll probably have to come all the way forward and uh, while this is new it sticks out a fair way further and you'll probably have to slam the door at first just like they used to do
and gradually the door will uh, sort of wear in. I used to uh, use that uh, expression a lot. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a really good um, fit. There'll be much less noise and uh, draft when uh, driving. So um, I can recommend this product. Um, just remember that when the seal is new, um, that you will probably have to uh, slam the door a bit to, uh, to close it. Just one last thing. Um, I thought it would be worth uh, joining this onto the film. Um, you'll notice that that closes fairly well now. And how I did that was this adjusting bolt is out all the way out and I packed that, I put more PVC tape on so it was bare metal before. You can actually pack out the, um, oh, what would you call it, the, the striking point where it, uh, it locks into position. Uh, the more you pack this out, the less you have to slam it. So the position of this is adjusted in the middle and out and I, you can continue adjusting by winding PVC electrical tape around the, uh, the bolt. Yeah, so that's the tape there, kind of tape you buy in a hardware shop. And uh, I've, you know, made sure there's no creases in it and I've just wound it around until, uh, until it closes well. So she's, uh, she's as good as new.